all this has happened before, and it will all happen again. But this time it happened in London. It happened on a quiet street in Bloomsbury. That corner house over there is the home of the Darling family. And Peter Pan chose this particular house because there were people here who believed in him. There was Mrs. Darling. George, dear, do hurry. We mustn't be late for the party, you know. Mrs. Darling believed that Peter Pan was the spirit of youth. But Mr. Darling... Mary, unless I find my cufflinks, we don't go to the party. And if we don't go to the party, I can never show my face in the office again. And we can never... Well, Mr. Darling was a practical man. The boys, however, John and Michael, believed Peter Pan was a real person and made him the hero of all their nursery games. Blast you, Peter Pan! you to cut off me hand oh no john it was the left hand oh yes thank you wendy wendy the eldest not only believed she was the supreme authority on peter pan and all his marvelous adventures oh nana must we always take that nasty tonic nana the nursemaid being a dog kept her opinions to herself and viewed the whole affair with a certain tolerance Growing up, 
It's high time she had a room of her own. Oh, you! What? No! I mean it. Young lady, this is your last night in the nursery. And that's my last word on the matter. Oh, do! You're turning red as a lobster. Now don't blow your top. It's my top, and I'll blow it if I want to. Do you feel better now? This is the last straw. Out! Out, Blazer! No, Father, no! Yes! There'll be no more dogs for nursemaids in this house. Goodbye.